It's a black screen right now because I want y'all to know that I want you to like the video and leave a comment and I will be talking about nothing but spoilers. So if you've never watched the show yet, don't watch yet. Just like the video and move on. All right. What's going on, everybody? Chilling, chilling, chilling. So I'm going to do a little breakdown and a thought video of what I thought about Game of Thrones season eight. We all know that George R.R. R. Martin left the show after season four. Season one through four were like perfect. It, it was basically perfect to me because like the writing and, the, you know, it, it's your baby. So you're on set and you want you want it perfect. Right. Five and six. They still had source material, but George R. R. Martin wasn't on the set. Those girls, the Sand Snakes, were like terrible to me. I, I did not like them at all. I didn't like the High Sparrow. Those were my only two gripes for the first six seasons, like the, the Sand Snakes and the High Sparrow. Sorry, I got like a cold right now and allergies and all that. All right, seven... It was an okay season, but you could tell it was rushed and they didn't really have book material. It's, it's like, I'm thinking George R. R. Martin was like, okay, he dies, he dies, he dies. This episode, he dies, he dies. This episode, he dies, he dies. This happens, this happens. I think that's what material they had for season eight. I don't think they just came up with their own, you know, their own thing. Maybe they did. Who knows? But this shows that these directors, they're, they're called D and D. I don't know their real names. Uh, they're not, they're, they're not good storytellers. They're not like, like they, I heard they were like rushing this project so they could move on to like Star Wars or something like that and get more money on, you know, with their awesome work because they do do awesome work. Their cinematography is great. Their, you know, their directors, their director skills is great. You know, I'm not a, I'm just a watcher. I don't know how to film. I don't know how to edit. Well, I do know how to edit, but I don't know all that shit that they know. But the director, the director, the way they direct is awesome. You know, everything is awesome, but their storytelling. Like, episode one, Winterfell was like, all right, boom. It was a given, episode one, you know. I thought it was a solid episode. I, I didn't think it was like garbage or anything. Episode two, you know, everybody rejoicing and all that stuff. I thought that was solid. Really thought that was solid. But episode three is where some of the writing could have been better. Like, you know what I mean? Some of the writing could have been better. We all know that the Night King probably was the only one that could fight. Uh, a lot of the viewers are like, oh, why the other, the other, his henchmen didn't fight and didn't know how to, you know, didn't get into any action. There wasn't any action for the henchmen, you know, the, his soldiers, his, uh, the white walkers, but he's the Night King and the white walkers, not the whites. They're just the zombies and skeletons and shit, but the white walkers. They were babies. They never been trained to fight. So I understand all of that, right? So the Night King, everybody, he's allegedly a Stark. He's probably the only one. He was high born and he's probably the only one that could fight. So the Night King dies super easy to Arya. I, I, I loved his death, to be honest. I love that. But when it would have been too cliche for John to kill him, right? So, remember when the Night King was walking and John was running behind him and then the Night King turned around and just raised the dead? Why didn't they let him and John fight for like a second? Like, that, that would have made the episode be so much better. John swing his sword. John swing his sword, the Night King dip it. Boom. The Night King swing his sword. John blocks that shit. The Night King surprise, like the other White Walker that tried to kill him when John blocked his shit. The Night King surprise. John 
you know, he, he, the Night King surprise and then John swing his sword again. The Night King block it, then kick the shit out of him. Boom. Kick him halfway across. Boom. He's strong as fuck. Kick him. Boom. John's fucked up. Then he raised the dead. See how much better that scene would have been? Like that part of the scene would have been? He raised the dead and then just start walking again. How much better would that scene been if that happened? Basically, him and John getting a little scuffle. He blocked John uh strike, kicked the shit out of John halfway across the map because he he probably know John would whip his ass, but he's stronger. Kick John, cross the map, then he raises the dead, then walks off. Then people would have been like, oh, that, that would have been way better than just raising the dead. Although that was decent too, but it was some bitch shit. Raise the dead, walk off. That made the scene much better. And it's not like they didn't have time to just do that. Storytelling. My storytelling is better than those guys, man. Okay, he walk off, boom, and then... That happened at the end. Aria, boom, boom, boom. I love the ending, to be honest. Okay. So, the next episode was a bad episode. Like, Daenerys, they, they win the, the, they win the war. Daenerys is talking and, you know, they're all talking. And Daenerys is like, yo, I'm going. I'm going to King's Landing right now. I'm going to King's Landing right now. They have no respect for time in this season and see in the last season either. Like everything is fast. Like when Gendry ran back to the wall for the night's watch, they took three days walking. I'm exaggerating. I don't know how long they took, but they took three days walking to find a white, but Gendry ran back to the wall in three minutes. Sent a raven to Daenerys and then she flew over. She got there in 15 minutes. No respect for time. You're at Dragonstone and you flew. All right. Okay. Back to the next episode, episode four, right? They could have just saved Masandi's death, which I predicted that Masandi, Varys was going to die and Masandi. I predicted both of those. Uh, in one, um, one little uh, message on Facebook. V- Episode four, they could have saved Masandi's death for a critical part for episode five, right? Episode four was just rushed and blah, blah, blah. And then they wanted to cap it off with chopping Masandi's head off with the mountain, right? So that, that was a bad episode. We're going to go to episode five, all right? The war is won. The war is won. The cinematography was great. Uh, I got a lot to talk about, like with Arya running around and getting almost burnt and like almost killed. I know what they were trying to go. I know what they were trying to do there. They were trying to let Ar- let people see Arya almost dying, seeing how crazy Daenerys is. And, you know, and... They wanted to let us think Arya is going to kill Daenerys because she almost killed her a hundred times and she was killing innocent people. That's what they wanted us to think. I know what they was going for that. You know, I knew I knew Arya wasn't going to kill Daenerys also. So Arya's running around King's Landing looking like a Stark with a sword and a dagger and no one attacks her. Not, not one soldier is around to attack her at all. No fight. Then, uh, then Jamie and Jamie and Cersei, right? At the same, th- this could have made this scene even better. At the same exact time, Arya almost gets burnt. She runs around a corner, rolls, or does she do something? And then it cuts to Jamie and Cersei, right? They get trapped in a room. I thought, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, they're geniuses. They're they're doing it. I thought Arya was going to stumble into that room, finding cover from the dragon fire, and then see Cersei 
and Jamie Lannister. <laughs> and then even even if she was about to kill Cersei or, or kill Jamie and Cersei and then the rocks fell on them and then we would have been like, oh, you know, it would have been a way better death than just nothing and the rocks falling on them. No Arya, nothing. So Arya just was a waste of time being in there. And why I say a waste of time, because in the next episode, she didn't tell John anything about that. She didn't. It was no emphasis on why they did that. Like, why was Arya running through King's Land and almost getting burnt if they're not going to talk about it the next episode? Just like when she was going back to Winterfell and she saw Nymeria, the wolves are <laughs> We're wolves. We're still alive. I'm still alive. I'm Nymeria. Uh, what was the point? If they if they wasn't going to show her, I'm like, oh, they're going to bring back Nymeria and Ghost and all that to help with King's Landing. The wolves are coming back. They didn't even fucking show the wolves, man. Nymeria didn't. What was the point of bringing Nymeria back? Oh, Nymeria, it's me, girl. This is episode season seven, not season eight. Well, if y'all watch Game of Thrones, y'all know what I'm talking about. Right? So this is why I say they should have saved Masandi's death. Because the war is won, and then Daenerys is just on Drogon. And then says, you know what? Let me start burning innocent people. Just, for real. For real. And then I want to talk about I, I don't know what just happened. I look at my recording. It looked like it was fucked up. But she just started burning innocent people for no reason. Right? Why didn't they kill Masandi in that same episode so it could be fresh in her mind after they kill Masandi? That's when she goes crazy and kills everybody. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that make more sense with the mountain killing Nymeria? She's boom, boom, boom. She She's fighting. She's killing the soldiers. Daenerys killing the soldiers and stuff. And then looks up and the mountain got Nymeria. I mean, the mountain got Nymeria. The mountain got Masande. like, yo, we will kill her if you don't surrender, if y'all don't retreat. And then Daenerys, like, just looking. And then they just say, fuck it. And then kill Masande. Then Daenerys say, you know what? I'm tearing everything up. Wouldn't that make more sense? Like, like, how am I making these episodes better than the writers? Then Daenerys and Drogon, right? This is going back before that when, when Daenerys went to King's Landing the first time and, and Euron, just shoots the dragons out of the sky. Boom, he's no scoping them. He ain't, he ain't even aiming. Boom, he killed, killed one dragon. Boom, killed two sh shots into the other dragon. F not Viserys, it's Drogon Viserys and Rhaegar. In Rhaegar, Rhaegar. Yeah, you, you shoot two arrows in Rhaegar, right? So when the war comes, Drogon coming, he's telling a soldier to shoot. Shoot now! Like, why aren't you aiming at Drogon? If you're the best aimer in the world, you fucking... <sighs> such bad writing. Such bad writing. And it's not George R.R. R. Martin fault. It's these idiots. The, them two dudes are terrible storytellers, right? Then Jamie Lannister, he turned... Uh, over a new leaf just to go back to Cersei. Like, what? <laughs> what? To die in rocks. Such waste of character. Such waste of character. We knew, we kind of knew Daenerys was going to be the Mad Queen, you know? We all knew Jon was going to be the king. He deserved that payoff. He'd been handed shit his whole life, right? He always told the truth 
But that's end of episode five, blah, blah, blah. She burnt everybody. Everybody dies. Goes to episode six. She comes out like Hitler. Boom. She's crazy. Doom. She great acting. Great fucking acting by her, by Daenerys. Uh, I, I forgot her name. Great fucking actress. She was playing that role. Wide eyed looking in John eyes and. Yo, she's a beast at acting, man. She's a great actress. And she come out like Hitler, this and that. And John kills her, right? John kills her. This is the beginning. They could have saved this to like the near the end, man. Because John could have killed her. Because we know John is this Ned Stark. John is basically Ned Stark. He never lies and this and that. But guess what? Ned Stark told one lie. And that's to save Jon Snow's life, Aegon Targaryen. He told that one big lie to change the world, basically. He wanted to save a Targaryen king, right? Jon Snow is Ned Stark, basically. He doesn't lie at all, right? He doesn't lie. So, he kills Daenerys. Drogon goes crazy because he knows he's a Targaryen. He can't kill, he can't kill Jon. So, he burns down the Iron Throne. Like, fuck that throne, basically. That, that was fucking awesome. It was a sad scene. He picks Daenerys up and flies away. Nobody knows what happened. Nobody knew what happened. I just made the ending of Game of Thrones perfect. Nobody knew what happened. What John does is he probably told him he killed Daenerys. Why not lie there, John? They put emphasis on him not lying when they had that meeting with Cersei. Remember season seven? They had the meeting with Cersei, Daenerys. Everybody came. And then he was like, I can't. I bent the knee already. I can't tell a lie. And they're like, why didn't you lie? So this one time at the end, why didn't he lie and say, yo, Drogon just flew away with her, man. I don't, I don't know what. Drogon went crazy, man. I know they heard Drogon going crazy. I know they didn't see what happened. Drogon went crazy. He fucking flew off with the nearest, man. Then all of it would have came out. He's Aegon Targaryen, the, the throne, the this and that. Then John would have been the king. Then everybody would have been like, oh shit. Then the smart people would have been like, oh shit, John never lied. He lied this one time, just like Ned Stark. And blah, blah, blah. <sighs> see how Jive, see how I, a regular guy, Jive Turkey, just made Game of Thrones ending better. <laughs> and it's a lot that I missed. Like, like the, the, like the Jamie Lannister and what's his name fight, you know, and him, ah, I killed Jamie Lannister. It just was some bad writing, bad dialogue in this season and last season. It seemed rushed. It seemed like they just wanted to go to their next project, which is Star Wars or whatever. This is what I'm hearing. Seemed like they just wanted to get that shit over with. George R.R. Martin's books will be way better, way better than this shit. But that's it. Um, Don't forget to like it, leave a comment, and see y'all later. I'm out. Peace.